Did you guys miss that? Did it did it disconnect? This was a gourmet meal. <laughs> the stream <laughs> disconnected. <laughs> hey buddy, watch this. Warlock, yeah, man, this is gonna be so tough. I need Mutanus. Mutanus, come on, Mutanus. Crush is okay, armor gain's good, but it's so hard to get enough. I need Mutanus. I need them to not hit a good rod, and I need Mutanus. I gotta get to... Oh! Not owls. Okay, never mind. Game plan has shifted. Apparently not owls. Although, I don't know, maybe, maybe still owls? This is weird. Maybe just a zoo? I don't know. We'll see. It's Rustwick? You think this is a Rustwick stack? Why do they need... Um, beastie dudes, pack mules for that? I'm confused. More defensive owls? I feel like normal owl lock has so much defense. I don't know, that doesn't seem necessary to me, but... Maybe, I guess. What in the world? Why didn't I kill this? <laughs> Do I have to shield same this to bladestorm this? Feels really bad. I, yeah, I think it's a weird handlock. I think that's exactly right. I, I don't know if this is correct or not at all. I have no idea that the density of threats and stuff we're gonna have to deal with, that, that may be very premature. I, I don't know. Using a shield slam basically on a 1-1. One, one. Shield slam plus minefield? Uh, that would have left that at, at... Oh, oh, shield slam this guy in minefield? That might be better, because apparently we need another insane blade storm. My thought was, use the blade storm while it's isolated, because you don't know if the next threat is gonna be isolated. It turns out it is, which is unfortunate, but... I cannot double minefield and win this game, right? <laughs> like, there's no way. We are running out of steam very quickly. I can play a crush next turn. I need him to go wide. I'm better at wide boards. These tall singular boards are tough. Hey, Minigun Maniac thinks of the prime. Oh my god, dude. Uh. I guess I'm playing a crush out, man. I don't know. I need uh, a good brawl. I need. Is there anything better than Owl TK? Yeah, it's not even top five. Best decks right now Libra and Paladin, number one. Quest Warrior, number two. Quest Rogue, number three. Quest Warlock, number four. All these brand new decks coming in here. Buff Paladin, number five. Aggro Elemental Shaman, number six. Face Hunter, number seven. And finally, Owl Lock, number eight. It is all. <laughs> wow, I just realized none of those are new decks except Owls. Oh, great. Look at this. What a joy to behold. What a joyous occasion this is. Uh, okay. Actually kind of cool. Suddenly in the game. Did they overcommit, man? I don't know. I'm back to 28 after their, like, power turn right there. All I need now is a Shield Shatter Kel'Thuzad and I'm off to the races, dude. So yeah, most of the decks are exactly the same as they were before. Uh, Buff Paladin, actually, to be fair, runs quite a few new cards, but it's not like a new archetype. It's basically hand buff and buff stuff. But the uh, Stone Hearth Vindicator Hold the Bridge buff package has definitely shifted its focus a little bit, in my experience, anyway. Um... It's an okay brawl, probably like Outriders Cargath better, even though it's not great into that 5-6. Oh my, I need to save that for next turn if I can. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I should be able to. There's only a 5-6 outright, so. Honestly, I'm gonna hit this. Oh, I lose my weapon, though. No, let's wait. Yeah, we'll play for this next turn. I hopefully don't take too much damage on... On this, I'm, I'm kind of hoping this thing hits a minion, really, but... Um, if it does hit me for five, I go to seven, I can hear power to nine. Uh, that's enough mana. That's eight mana, so that's fine. And it hits a minion. Even better. Play a big old board of stuff that's all five health, please. Oh, that's gonna be five health. Okay. Sure. Perfect. Wonderful. It's lining up beautifully. Uh, that's fine, too. I'll take it. Sure would be a shame if your whole board died. To control life, we must 
This is so sick. <laughs> this is so sick. This is actually good Kel'Thuzad. Look at that, dude. <laughs> now, the package runner is not great for me, to be fair. Like, that's going to be tough to work with. But everything else, just dandy. Can they deal with this 8-8? I mean, I'm assuming they have some removal mixed in here, right? It's not going to be all threats. So I don't know if this board will stick, but certainly happy to try <laughs> to clear their stuff and present a counter lethal. That's pretty good. I think we're happy to take that. That's a touch. So another touch here isn't like they have enough to get through the Lockalar. Oh, uh, yeah, double Soul Rand will do it. Sure. We're going to win the value game here, though, maybe. Oh, maybe they just go touch into Drain Soul? Or maybe just touch to avoid burning another card. Get a heal. That's reasonable, I guess. Oh, just a package runner? That's no good, man. Oh, that helped them. No! No! How dare you? I need card draw, dude. They are ten cards deeper. I gave up the axe, sort of. Like, you know, I kind of had to, I guess, but... What do I want here? Uh, Kargath Prime certainly is great. I, I probably have time to dump a Rattle Gore, it looks like. I would take a any tradable. Just it's fine to trade it in, see what we get. It's kind of the same as drawing a card, I know, but you know. Corsair Cash actually could probably be okay. You get accustomed to this. Okay, they're getting into Brawl territory here, which is nice. I don't know if we want to take that yet. Could go bear off axe to draw here. It's not too bad. We're gonna fight a page with top 10 standard decks. I just used HS replay. Been the place I've used for 20 years. <laughs> Seems like it. Um, what I just showed you earlier was just, you know, the uh, diamond through legend HS replay over the last day or whatever. I mean, I take six and there's another eight. It's like I'm getting pretty low. I, I think I actually kind of need to brawl. I guess the question is do I bear off first? Like, it's kind of like double committing removal, which sucks, but I don't know how much stuff they have left. You know, we might be kind of into the last wave of threats here. I think I, just to be safe, I'm going to do this. I have Bulwark if things go really south for a while. Um, but I don't really want to leave a 6-1 a, a up or whatever. If I'd known that was going to win, like, sure, I wouldn't have committed the bear off, but I don't, I don't know that. So this is a little bit safer feeling. Plus, I don't even really have that many good things left for the for the bear off. Rokara can kill it. I had like Ranker. Blade Storm's okay, I guess. There were a few. But you know, I'm only drawing one card per turn right now, so. Oh, Raise Dead's scary. Oh, Raise Dead's really scary. Oh, Raise Dead's really scary. <laughs> oh no. Raise Dead's really scary. They're kind of at risk of dying here, right? I can hit them for nine next turn. If I want. Actually, 11 with the hero power, but that's not quite lethal. I had to ping the minion, though, or I couldn't have hit with a taunt, you know? Like, I, that was mandatory, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. If they, like, tried to raise that or something here, I might have a lethal, depending on what they get on the minions. So we're 25. I can probably just bulwark for a turn or two if I don't have a lethal out. Yeah, okay, so this is not lethal. That is a really bad draw, too. So, uh, thing is, I need this weapon to do the damage, so I guess I attack first and then Bulwark, huh? That should be fine, right? Put them at one and then Bulwark, and I think we'll be okay. That should be fine, right? Should be totally okay. Like, I don't think they're going to hit me for... I mean, I guess weapon removal, obviously, is, is a threat. I don't, this doesn't do anything right now. Clearly, weapon removal is a threat, uh, but beyond that, I think we're okay. Like, this is the best chance to win, I think. And now I just set up hero power lethal. Like, if I lose that nine damage, I extend the length of the game too much. So, I, I take a little risk here. I guess I would have been dead anyway, though, right? Like, if they had weapon removal regardless, I still would have taken the same nine. I was at 15 or something. Oh my god, that's four hits. Do they have seven immediately, though? There's no way, right? Oh my god. They don't have seven here, do they? Oh, but that's a heal. Oh no, dude. That's a heal. 
Oh god, dude. I need that 3-3 three, three to win, dude. Oh no. It's actually okay if the 5-5 five, five wins as well. But it can't be one of the nine attack guys. 5-5 five, five or 3-3. Three, three. Actually, maybe in some ways the 5-5 five, five could almost be better. I don't know. This is my last. Oh, actually, no. I can't Outriders and Ping. It has to be the 3-3. Three, three. Um, if I want to kill it, which I think I obviously do. Wow. It actually was the 3-3. Three, three. Okay. <gasps> life gain. Okay. Life gain next turn is great. I don't think I trade, do I? I think I like the life gain to buy me a turn or two here. They might literally be out of threats, though. We got through double Battlegrounds, Lockalar, and Etheron. I guess they could go for another Raise Dead into some threats, which I don't currently have an answer to. I'm at four. This game is crazy, dude. I still, like, that, that removal we used early, you know, is still feeling a little, little premature, but it's what we had. So I can kill this with Heavy Plate. Oh, or just Ranker. Hero power is better. That heals more than the other way around, so we'll do that. I don't really need to hit their face anymore because... Who cares? Like, they're going to die to fatigue, right? Now that I have a little bit of life back, I I'm starting to think maybe trading here is better. I think eight's enough. Usually. And I can hit so many good cards. Shield Shatters, Cargaths, other tradables just to cycle into whatever I want. Coerce is actually good, too. Gonna not use the weapon just in case. Again, like, we know we'll win off fatigue if I wait long enough, so resources seem to matter a little more. Or until we know the fatigue is lethal. So they probably have another Knoll I have to deal with, which this does fine. We got the heavy plate back again. Sure. Okay, so now that we can set up a two-turn, we do this. Okay, um... I'm gonna wait just in case. We can always use this next turn. I don't think eight from hand is ever a risk. Smite or something, I guess, could be the, the best case, but how would it be buffed? Oh my god, dude, this deck just barely got there, I think. I don't want to jinx it, but we barely got there. I can just hit them in the face, that doesn't matter. Woo! Oh my god. Yeah, thank god I held that, that Corsair cast for the combo. Man, did they use both resets already? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Whoa! I thought for sure we were cooked, dude. That bulwark healed for, what, 36? Paladin. Boy, oh boy. How do we beat Paladin? I'm going to save a Rust Rot for Cariel. Although, I think Cariel beats me anyway, so I don't know that that makes any sense. Like, Cariel hero power might beat me. Rattlegore is probably the best way to outvalue the Cariel hero power, but how? I don't know. It's gonna be really hard. Maybe this is wrong to keep this early, though, anyway. It's like I'm not using this until 45 minutes into the game. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's important, so it's like you kind of want to, but also it's so committed. There's so many of these, like, small minions, too, in Paladin. I just, like, are gonna be a nightmare for me to clean up. Little leftovers, divine shields, all this stuff really interrupts my removal package. Coerce is really good, but that's about it. At least this isn't a trog. I mean, this is not a good coerce minion, right? This is what I'm talking about. Like, I cannot do that. this is not a, a rust rot target, is it? I only have the one rust rot. Am I gonna lose the game if I don't rust rot this, though? Is the question. Like, Am I just going to lose to the mid game before Cariel even becomes a threat? Uh, Cobras, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Uh, we are definitely playing a control deck. Guys, I I am tempted to think that I'm going to lose before Cariel if I let this weapon hand buff. Although we know there's a spell in hand because this is from the knight. So there's only three minions currently getting buffed. Maybe that's not so bad. Maybe that's not so bad. We're kind of limiting the number of cards getting buffed at the moment, to some extent. Let's trade here. That's maybe four minions max. Oh, it doesn't trade here. Okay. Sure. Man, is my hand clunky, by the way. 
So clunky, dude. Good seven mana play, but all these divine shields in the way, right? Might just rip a ranker now to get through the divine shield, soften up the board a little. I don't have a lot to do anyway. Kind of sucks. I mean, it's bad. Do I even shield slam here, maybe? To get through the front half of this? Saves me a lot of health. I guess. We're going to fall too far behind if I don't. Certainly doesn't feel good, but we can't just sit passively forever. I'm waiting on this for like a really big thing. Like that thing, for instance. That's a really big thing. So here we can go Axe Coerce. That's great. Perfect. Okay, so we've actually kept up, I think, fairly well here, all things considered. I'm still worried about an early carry L because that hero power is just so much stat value, right? It's really hard to keep up with. I would rather carry L be like bottom five. I know I actually lost a game as a handbook paladin with carry L because it was bottom five. Like I couldn't, I couldn't get to it in time. Ooh, that is a nice known entity of. I don't have enough mana. Um, oh boy, you'd sure love to kill the Talon and then Mutanus to eat their, eat their uh, Varian. I think I need to play this now though because I'm just not gonna have time otherwise. I know this will bring me some life back and kill a Varian, so that if he gets it, he may not be able to get it because I'm not gonna hit the hit the tail in here. Um Okay. Not not the best result, but pretty high health total at least. That was hand buffed. Um that does indicate a pretty fast curve for this deck, by the way. I don't see a lot of crab riders these days. So that might be nice for us, actually. That might indicate less late game depth i'm hoping for duty. this is actually a sort of decent bear off ranker because that'll give him the varian he might want to play the varian then i can uh cargath the varian although i guess it would have divine shield still maybe i could just rabble gore into it in that case so many choices <sighs> i think this is okay but he's running out of gas, so I don't I don't think this is gonna get notably better later. Gives me a little bit of life leeway as well, which is good. Like I have a little window now to kind of tank a hit or two if I need it, particularly with Kargath safely in hand. Oh, okay. He actually got a lot of minions reloaded there. So we assume that's Varian off the Talon. That's my guess anyway, right? So if he plays Varian with Divine Shield, I guess I would be willing to tank eight um for the Kargath to be good. Uh, that'd be fine, I suppose. Okay, instead he does nothing. It's Rattlegore then, yeah. It's a great time to get Rattlegore down. Low pressure. Varian can hit it, that's fine, right? We'll just use the Kargath to swing back. Um, and then we'll have a Rattlegore down. Yeah, this is great. This is going to be a trade Varian. Well, you don't really need to trade if you... Oh yeah, your variant's an 8-8 eight, eight, maybe. It's is it not variant? He's not playing it, which is making me think it's not variant. Indeed, maybe not a variant. Reporting for duty. Just kinda wild. Shield shatter. Hargath, very awkward, unfortunately, into that guy. I mean, Rabblegore is kinda cool into it, but not that great. This will be alive because I can't reliably get rid of the divine shield first. Shatter, Rattlegore trade, Kargat the 4 6. Maybe. That's too much mana. If I armor up, I, no, 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 no. I don't have enough mana for that. You got a 12 mana play there. If I had two more armor, like, yes, that would work, but I think it's fine. We'll just hold the Rattlegore one more turn. I, I don't really care that much about leaving a 4 6 up into my Rattlegore. Like, that's fine. It's not that scary. I'll go ahead and you. Oh, actually, I could play the Crash. I do lose my weapon potential, though. No. I better not. Let's cycle this. I don't actually care about having the axe. I do care about getting the next card sooner, though, right? Whatever it might be. All right, I'm, I'm sure that that's... A, like, that's gotta be a variant. I don't know why it's not getting played. What else could it be? Oh, it's a Templar Captain. Okay, not a variant. I take it back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. I see. I think we want to minefield this, right? It's just way too likely to be good. If it whiffs, I mean, we'll figure it out, but it's so likely to be good. Come on. 
No way, dude. No way, dude. That's so annoying, dude. I don't want to coerce that. That's so annoying. Like, I really don't want to coerce that, man. I guess I have to. I, I don't know. It's it's obviously not something I want living. I don't want to take nine, you know? I'm not worried about the resummon. I just don't want to take nine. I don't want to cargat it because it's such a bad trade. Crush is just too passive. I guess I have to. Really sucks. It's a really bad roll for us. Really bad roll for us. I mean, it, the math was kind of good to be able to attack the the four six that got damaged to a four three or whatever. Like that was nice. I appreciated that. That was a good clean hit. But obviously, would have preferred the other way around. Okay, rattle bro. This might be a fine card gap. I don't know if he has any reactivity in the deck, so we might just stabilize off of it. Um, I'd rather have armor than a than a card here, right? So this has to kill the minion. Remember. Okay. So now we got 16, maybe counter pushing. He could still have a variant. I just assumed that Templar Captain was going to be a variant. Was not. Might be a budget uh, substitution. Might be just likes the Victory. likes the big stuff. Woo, okay, man. That was a hard, hard fought like mix of using our resources there. I don't think we need this against Rogue. I mean, what are we looking for against Rogue? Quest Rogue right now is being played. A lot of little SI7 minions. They have the big crazy threat turns for like stealth scabs into Battlemaster. So health total is good to kind of give us time to respond to some of those like scary stealth boards maybe. Uh, removal after that is good. Um, Got to keep up with the, the small mid game boards. We've got to... This isn't quest. Might be Gro rogue. I haven't really played hardly against hardly any rogues. Rogue is something we see more and more at higher ranks. As I'm still ranking up, I I don't know what else to expect. Not a quest. So we've got Groat. Is definitely running Cutlass and Swindle. So I think that's my best guess. Uh, did Garot gain any damage? They lost damage since the nerf, but did they gain any extra ways to deal damage? Can I get enough armor, in other words, to beat Garot Rogue? Can I just out-armor it? I know, historically, uh, with a stack, it was like you could, but they would do it faster than you could. Sometimes. I'm gonna hold this now. I think life might be an important metric. Heavy plate trade for heavy plate. Hey, it's a fair deal, okay? <laughs> that would be kind of cool if there was some aspect of tradable that, like, considered mana cost. Like, if you trade it into a higher cost thing, it, like, you know, it did something. It's like, hey, you got a good deal. Here's a bonus sort of sort of deal, you know? That would be a fun mechanic. It would. You couldn't say, like, oh, I'm going to discount it for you. That would be broken, I guess, but that might be a cool idea. What would it do? Give you one health or something, right? I don't know. Plus one health. Plus one armor if you get a good deal. It's not very flavorful, but something. I think it's cool as is. Okay, they're just kind of chipping me down a lot. Actually, it's, it's like, a, is that health going to matter later? I'm sort of nervous. I don't know. Like, they've done, like, two or three extra damage here off weapon swings. Like, I sort of wonder if that's going to make a difference. Uh, I feel like I might want to activate my crash right away, right? All right, I'll just go Kargath Hero Power here. I think I want to weave in Hero Powers every turn. Again, I don't know that I can get enough health to, to matter, but... It's as good as any other game plan I can think of, right? I don't think I'll be able to out-pressure them in time, so... Maximizing health gain, making their life harder for breakpoints, all that stuff feels like a good path. This is a deck that very much feels like, and I like this, this is a good thing, very much feels like you have to kind of struggle to figure out your win condition in any given matchup. Okay, is this being played in, in, in Garot Rogue? All right, we might have something else on our hands here. This might be Owls or, I don't know. I mean, it's like you can get extra coins and stuff, I guess, like... I don't, I don't know. 
This is, uh, it's pigs. Oh, I have seen the pigs as well. Oh yeah, I have seen pig rogue. Yes. Armor also seems relevant in pig rogue, I guess, sort of, right? Oh my God, are they, they're not done yet, are they? Do they already have a Terran? There's no way this is done this early. This deck has like a 30% win rate. There's no way, dude. There's no way this is done. Don't they have to kill this next wave or something as well? Like backstab this. If they got it done on turn six. This is the worst deck in the game right now, I think. And they actually got it done on turn six. That is the best hand I've ever seen. That is crazy. Good for you, Del Aguila. I do actually technically have enough life to survive here, though. Um, I just need the hero power. And, oh, no, I'll never get to hero power. No, they have it exactly. I don't have a one mana way to gain life. Never mind. I'm dead. I needed 46. I can't. I can't. I can't believe it. They got it exactly. <laughs> Good stuff, Delagila! Good stuff! Wait, did you guys miss that? Was I AFK? Did it did it disconnect? This was a gourmet meal. You, you guys missed it! You missed it! 